quality Nollywood films, you should link up on Sonny Richie Nolly TV. Sonny Richie Nolly TV. Sonny Richie Nolly TV. It better be so. Just pray it's my eyes that are playing trick on me. I'll be back shortly. Let me get something from the Joshua. Closed up on me once again. <laughs> Matthew is marrying another girl. Matthew? Yes, Matthew. I thought he said he was going to marry you. <laughs> Sister, why is it that all the men that come to seek your hand in marriage? always end up changing their minds. <laughs> Our mother's foolishness and jealousy has left an everlasting stain on our family. I think it is almost an impossible task for us to get married considering the fact that our mother killed our father and took her own life after it. If only she knew that her actions would cause us more pain than our father's cheating did to her. I'm tired of seeing you disappointed. I'm tired. I'm tired of all these men disappointing you and leaving you at the mercy of your tears. What are we going to do now? Let us just pray. Let us just pray for men that will look beyond our mother's mistakes. Do you really let us just pray. Let us just pray. Let us just pray. My teeth left me. Hello? Anybody home? 
Anybody home? Hi. Yeah, hi. How may I help you? Okay, my name is Zahami Funa. Ozejwani. The son of Chief Ebekwedike Ozejwani. Wow. <laughs> and what brought you here today? I hope we're safe. Uh, yes, you're safe. I just want to talk with you. Okay, alright. Come in. the guarantee that he came now will marry me after waiting for him. He has no money now. In fact, he's not even thinking of settling down anytime soon. What if he finally changes his mind like my sister's suitors do? Hey, but I love him so much. Afam wants to marry me, but I don't have an idea of love for him. Guito. This could be God's way of giving me a husband to avoid going through my sister's kind of disappointments. I have to take this chance. Pregnant? I am finished. I suspected this. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Do not tell me to calm down. Do you know what she will pass through, having that pregnancy in this house? I want to marry her. Do you know my family? <sighs> Your mom and all that, I know. Just that my family are on my heels. To turn my back on my child and Nanya. But I will not do that, because that child is my first seed. Sister Kriti. Noye, so you are pregnant. You low life idiot. Your plans are working. You are smartly working your way into my family. But beat me. I won't let you come an inch close. Take this one. Go and abort that thing you have in there. That is, if you don't want to incur my heart. Bet me, next time I come here, you won't live to tell your story. Fool. This is serious. I can take anything but not insult. How can that man walk into our father's compound and rain insult on us? Noye, you have to go now and abort that child. We cannot stoop this slow as to force ourselves into the life of a man. For what now? Sister, why would you say such a thing? Since this pregnancy is the only thing that is bringing a farm to you, then you must abort it. If he needs you, he must come in a neutral ground. <laughs> If you know my son, listen. Whatever an elder sees sitting down, if you climb up to the mountain, you will never see it. That's why I advise you forget about that girl. 
go back to school and be useful to yourself. Dad, what then happens to Monye and my child in her womb when I'm gone? Leave them. Let them carry their cross. It is their own cross. She comes from a family no one would ever think of associating with them. They are like leper. You avoid them. Dad, Dad. I love that girl so much. That's see. It wouldn't be nice to let her go and suffer alone. I'm the one who got her pregnant. Will you shut up your mouth? What do you know about love? I'm telling something that will be useful to you. What haven't I seen in life? I'm advising you as your father and you are sitting there here telling me about your attachment to a girl of a low life. Now listen. If you still want to remain my son, forget about that girl. Go back to school. No sense. threatening me since morning because I refuse to follow her to the hospital. She insists I must abort the pregnancy. Baby, I want to thank you so much for helping me to save this child. Oh, I promise you today that you'll never regret doing this for me. Okay? Okay. Um, I need to see my father now. Just wait, I am coming. I'll be back. No, 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 no. I, I, I will come with you. No, you can't come with me. Huh? Okay, see, go to your friend's house anywhere. Just, I'll meet you. I'll meet you up, okay? See what I bought for you. Okay? I'll meet you up here. Okay. I'm coming now. I can see that Alpha Mifuna has made up his mind. He thought I was joking when I told him I would disown him. Alpha Mifuna, you know, after everything we had told him, he still decided to stick to his foolish decision. That boy has just confirmed that he's just like his late mother. Strong-hearted, unbendable. Well, just know that henceforth he has no place in this family. And this only I actually heard all you said, but I also have to let you know that to love is not a crime. Whatever it is that Nonya's mother did, Nonya was not there. So I see no reason to hold her mother's sin against her. 
Now, I want to assure you that God will always see me through. So that was how my father disowned me. I took her to the school hostel where I was living. After a while, I met a man who gave me this place to live. He only said I should always keep this place clean. I shouldn't just pay anything. So, here I am. That was huge. You know, in you I see a clear picture of that age-long dictum that says love is blind. How could you have loved so blindly? How could I have loved so blindly like this? So heartless you have been all these years. Despite the fact that our family, our entire family rejected you, yet he believed in you. What did you do? I know I deserve to die for what I have done. But please help me save our father. I don't want him to die in the agony that I have put him through. Please. You don't have any single drop of mercy in your heart. You know what? You cannot give what you don't have. I mean, she gave birth just seven months after you slept with her. But her pregnancy was up to nine months. Did you ever ponder on that? Yes, but the joy of the newborn baby and the pain I went through before his birth could not allow me to ponder over that. You made a very big mistake. How could you have laid your sense of reasoning on the altar of love? I wish I listened to my father. Everybody warned me. But my problem is that when I love, I love with my life. This is not time to lament. You just have to buckle up and fix your life. Now what do you think that is left of me? I've lost everything that I'm supposed to get from my father. I know no trade. I'm a school dropout. I have no money in my account. I lost... I, 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 I actually laid my life on the altar of love. What have I done to myself? God, what have I done to myself? See, what people do not know is that on the altar of love lies life and death. Love is like two-edged sword. The same way it kills, that also is the same way it saves. That is why we must love with wisdom. Oh, lost everything. I have loved my own dream. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hi. Tell me. How were you able to give birth to the second child for another man? Yet you were living with Afam in the same house. How did you do it? After I gave birth to my first child, he came now. Met Uche. Uche showered him with lots of money. 
So he decided to marry her. But that did not change anything. We, we were still meeting from time to time. Why still in your husband's house? I had no eye to have love for Ikeda. I never loved that farm. Oh. I, I hated him with passion. Oh. I did not want to see it inside me. Chinoy, I am ashamed of you. <sighs> Can you listen to yourself? I know how many times I tried to stop you from getting into that marriage, yet you insisted. Now, can you hear your dirty story? Uh, uh, calm down. L let her continue. I'm all ears, so go on. So, I only meant love to her from whenever I was in my safe period. Anytime I am unsafe, I will make love to Ikeda. And then if Afa wants to, I have anything to do with me, I will tell him that I'm not in the mood. Don't even have conscience. How could you? <laughs> Chinoyim, how could you do this to my brother? How? You've messed up his life. Hey. Don't you get it? How could you do so? Ciao! I, I had no idea of love for her, Pap. I never loved him before. I still don't love him. The only thing I feel for him is pity. I still have... Very strong feelings for Ikeda. <laughs> uh, Bravo. Uh, <laughs> Chineye, you have done your worst. Can you not leave our family alone? Ah. <laughs> uh. <sighs> uh. Everything I've done for you, Kenna. Kenna, you're so wicked, useless man, Kenna. So this is what you've been doing, Kenna. Hi, you, you are a very stupid man. It will never be well with you, Kenna. After everything I did for this, I want to pay me, Kenna. My God will judge you. My God will punish you, Kenna. You're useless man, Kenna. This is how you want to pay me back, Kenna. Oh my God. Kenna, oh. it will never be well with you. You know what? I'm done with this marriage. It's over between us. You will hear from me. No problem. I'm out of this marriage. Babe, babe, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry now, 
It's not my fault now. It's just, uh, that, that, that useless. Hi. I'm sorry. Fine. I knew about the first child, but the second one, I, I didn't know anything. She didn't tell me. She didn't tell me. I know what I did is bad, but, but at the same time, put, put yourself in my, in my shoes. I've been married for, for, for years, no, no issue, nothing. And now suddenly two, two, two children came, came from a, another woman. Are you, 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 you going to go to accept them? Welcome to your new home. Hmm? Welcome to your father's house. Feel free. Yes, just be free. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, <laughs> good. I, I can't even express myself. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I, I can't even express how I feel right now. I have prayed for a day like this to come. Thank you, Jesus, for making it happen. Thank you for making my dream come true. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is your father's house. You're free. Do whatever you want to do. Jump everywhere. Drink anything you want. No, please don't drink alcohol. It's not for children. Come hell be a home. Come darkness be forever. When will heaven open for the light to shine? Mm. When will I see the end of the tunnel? When will I feel I'm close to the light? Ah, hey, yeah. Walking like a shadow If and I may I'm feeling I'm in hell If and I may I'm walking like a shadow If and I may I'm feeling I'm in hell now I want love, love me 